What's going on guys? Leaf Leafy back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're gonna to be looking at a marketplace score and the micro center cabinet and the end to their whole retro arcade gaming thing they tried to sell. That's my line. I was supposed to say that. <laughs> All right, guys, you know I'm a broken record. If you're not following me on Instagram, why are you not following me? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. You got to put that on the line, that underscore. You got to put it there. If you did follow me and you would have seen my stories, you would have seen the whole process and the whole kind of backstory to the Marketplace find and to the Micro Center cabinet, which we'll discuss later on. I'm going to start first with this here, and then I'll bring you guys upstairs to the garage, and we'll talk about the Micro Center disappointment of a cabinet um but real quick before anything i do want to give you guys a big kind of thank you uh that i have to say thank you i mean you guys i, I hit 5,000 subscribers so without you guys watching guys and girls i should say guys and gals uh without you watching the videos i mean i probably wouldn't even be posting or making videos i i, I think this is awesome i'm able to engage with you guys and i see you guys seeing the videos and also commenting so i appreciate all the comments uh, again, 5k subscribers is something that I never thought I would ever reach even at like a hundred or even like five subscribers. So again, I give you guys a very big thank you uh, and a big round of applause for you guys for uh, watching. If you guys have any like video suggestions, you could drop it. Let me know. You can even DM me or, you know, post it on YouTube and I'll consider it. Uh, you know, I don't think I'll ever run out of videos, <laughs> especially when it comes to like customer builds and all that. Even though they might get repetitive, but I feel like people like to see like cabinets being built and software and emulation and that's what I like. So I'm gonna post it either way, even if it gets repetitive. So I hope you guys stay along. But again, big shout out to you, 5,000 subscribers. I, I just can't say thank you enough. So now check it out. We are inside my battle station, I call it. My piece of heaven, uh, my game room is where I get my work done. I got my whole, my whole part of the house <laughs> that is dedicated just for me. Um, but family and friends do come over, we hang out, we game here, honestly, we're over here. We only go upstairs to eat and watch, you know, TV on the 120 inch projector I have and the majority of the time I'm here. Uh, it's awesome, as you can see though, I'm gonna be making a video next week because there is a cabinet behind me that you haven't really seen unless you saw the Instagram stories or even the YouTube shorts. So stay tuned for hyper vertical, but Right now, um, I'm gonna make a separate video for the whole room that I have going on. I kinda hit my limit, my, my max. Uh, I don't need any more cabinets, except one. Uh, but that's far into the future. Again, stay tuned for that. I'll be doing a whole video on Hyper Vertical and my little piece of heaven. But enough of that. We're gonna be talking about the Facebook Marketplace find and again, the Micro Center cabinet. I'll start first with this and then we'll go upstairs later on. I have the lights off right now so you can at least see the screen. I'm gonna turn the lights on, we're gonna bring you in closer. So now, I kind of have like a nightly routine or kind of a weekend routine where I actually go on like Marketplace and uh, whether it's Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, or Craigslist, um, I just go and like scour. I just kind of see like what's going on, who's selling what. Even though I'm never gonna buy anything because me personally, I would rather build a cabinet. I'm at a stage now where like, People message me and they're like, oh, you know, I wish uh, you had a cabinet that had like Mortal Kombat theming. And I'm like, I could do that. You just, I could do that. Well, I'll build you a cabinet and I could make your own artwork. So I get that a lot. Um, in the beginning though, I was on Marketplace a lot. I mean, even in the earlier stages when I was first doing this, I was really the type, and people are gonna be frowned upon it. I was really the type that was getting Broken cabinets. I'm talking original cabinets, and uh, you know, in the past videos, people would flame me, and I get it now. Um, but I'm gonna again, I'm gonna talk about marketplace job. But I used to get cabinets, and I would retrofit them, and I would put 60 in ones. I would put Pandora's boxes in them, and then resell them. That was like my main thing. Where I was before, we used to have this kind of kid game room, and um, I feel like I said this story, but I'll say it real quick again. Um, growing up, where I was before, like. This game room, we had a guy named Cliff. He was the arcade guy. Like, I remember like being little when I heard Cliff was in the house. Like, oh, I would just stay next to him and like watch him open up control panels and change buttons. And he would give me the quarters and he would go open coin doors and just hit 
a little switch and it magically made the game work and that's like how I grew up and the sad story was that we had like five or six cabinets and they were broken they, they were dead and Cliff never came back like never we would call and Cliff never came and then we heard like the sad news about maybe a year after realizing that like these machines that we had were broken that Cliff unfortunately passed away uh, and it was sad and I think his son came out to us and was like you guys just take the cabinets and at that time that's when I was getting into this and um, you know R.I.P. to Cliff shout out to Cliff and uh, you know he's kind of childhood to me I was able to kind of take these broken machines that weren't being maintained anymore and yes I I would gut them I would put LCDs in them and then I would sell them off that's how it started I don't do that anymore uh, I have no interest in it mainly because again I would rather build a cabinet and do custom artwork because that's what my like people that hit me up that's that's what I get I get a lot of like hey my my kids a fan of like you know I don't know the minions and can you do a minion cabinet and my fan we like comics and that's what I do now so I don't really buy old cabinets to retrofit again you'll see my other, earlier videos I, I believe you'll see the first one I ever did which was like I think it was like a Tekken cabinet um, I swapped that out and you know the, the main thing with those cabinets is that the CRTs were dead and you know me at I don't know I was like what 19 20 I don't know how to fix CRTs and not to mention it was like 300 bucks to change out it might be a different price don't flame me you know I had no interest in that I would basically just take out the CRT, put a TV in it, and then off it goes. Um, you know, that's my history, that's how I started. But again, I currently right now, I'm not into that. I'm not into buying old cabinets and retrofitting. But occasionally I'll go on Marketplace just to see like what's out there, like what's going on in the world and who's got what. And sometimes you see like beautiful cabinets, uh, you know, very rare cabinets. And you know, it's kind of sad to see Number one, the price that these people are selling it for. Not in a bad way to say it's sad. Um, I'm gonna go into like this. I'll, I'll, you'll understand what I mean by what I just said when I talk about this. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm, I'm on Marketplace rarely. Just, just again, vibing. I, I have my own ads on Marketplace. Um, people try to compare like my cabinets to an original arcade cabinet and hey Vic, why is yours this price? And I could get this cabinet for way less. And, we go back and forth on it. Honestly though, right now, I was, I stopped. I was big on looking for a pinball machine. I wanted like a real pinball machine and I kind of just pumped the brakes on it because I was like, you know what? Not that I don't have the room for it, it's just there's maintenance to pinball. I would rather, I'd rather keep my beef in. <laughs> I just kind of see why I didn't start this video in the light because my hi-hat is like right on the screen, let me see if it looks better now. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks the camera, but yeah, like I said, I, I just go on Marketplace just to kind of see what is out there. I forgot to mention like the older cabinet that I retrofitted that I totally got flamed for, and it's still on my, my channel, is where I took a Pac uh, Miss Pac-Man Galaga, uh, I think it was like a 20th or 25th year anniversary, and I put the Mr. Burns Raspberry Pi in it, and I got like totally murked on that. Um, but yeah, I no longer do that. I have no interest in it. I do have like two retro cabinets that I had in mind that I've always wanted. And honestly now, I don't need it. <laughs> I'm, I'm maxed out, I, I don't need it. And one of those was, if you look back, I, made, I got it from my cousin. It was the Pac-Man Galaga, but it was like the home version. It was small and all that. I don't need that now because I have this behind me. Um, so as you can see me building my cabinets, I no longer have to touch the older classic ones. Yes, the CRT monitors on those are gorgeous, but it is maintenance. And once they go, there are companies that will fix CRTs, but uh, you gotta send it out. I don't know if anybody in New York, I don't care. I'm not looking at it. Anyway, on Marketplace, the big deal about Marketplace is that people have these cabinets and it's mostly like either people that are buying houses that were like sold and it's in the basement, just collecting dust, or you get like the occasional person that's very hardcore into arcades and then they swap and they trade. And that's cool, I, I dig that. But most of the time I get people that like, they just have this lying around or they just, you know, I'll tell you the story real quick about the one thing I mentioned was rare cabinet. Somebody in New York was selling an original, I believe it was a Pac-Man. And the cabinet, the side of it had the Pac-Man face and it actually had the triangle for like the mouth, like the side panel. 
And this person advertises it as like, you know, original, rare Pac-Man, and honestly, you don't, you don't see it. It's almost like your um, Burger Time cabinet, like with the chef's hat guy and the side panel. With the, you don't see that. Uh, so this guy had an advertisement, was like, oh, Pac-Man machine, super rare, and wanted like five grand for it. And it didn't work. Like, he's like, it does, like, you know, people write, doesn't work. Uh, I would message him, like, hey, you know, I could try to fix it. And then I could try to flip it for you. And he's like, no, I just want to sell it. And uh, I'm like, okay, you're not going to get 5K for a broken machine. You know, I don't know who's going to pay that unless somebody's really hardcore and into fixing it. But, you know, people, they write on the ads like, oh, I'm trying to get rid of this. I got to move next week. And, uh, you, know, uh, I, I, you know, and then I'll message them like, okay, I'll give you a hundred bucks. I'm like, no, um, I'll do 4K. Like, and then they write like, I know what I have. I'm like, okay, all right. You'll, you basically don't want to sell it then. Like that, in my eyes, you don't want to sell it. Kind of brings me to this, the mega touch here, right? Again, on at night, on Marketplace, I look and I see a mega touch, the upright. This is the Z back. I've done a video on this. I've had one or two of these. And again, I'm the type where I, I'll buy it and then I flip it for a good, for the right price. This person had this mega touch up and the picture was just like this. It didn't show the side on, it just, it just showed this, which I caught my eye because you kind of, you rarely see these. Um, caught my eye and was like, oh, you know, um, and he wrote in the description, doesn't power on. Asking price, $450. And I'm the type where I don't wanna go back and forth. I hit you with one message. I'll type up like one or two messages max. Because after two messages, if, if I see like you're not budging, I'm out. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to negotiate on it. Again, even though I'm not going to buy a cabinet, when I see a good deal, I'll get it. I messaged the guy and I said to him, I said, listen, like, you know, because it says like, is this available? Like, I don't do that. Like, I'll, I'll write that because uh, Marketplace automatically writes that. And then I'll type. I go, hey, listen, I see you wrote that it doesn't work. I will take it off your hands and try to fix it if you want. That's how I type it because you could kind of interpret it as like, I'm trying to get it for free because it's a paperweight. Or if the guy messages me back, I can say, hey, listen, I'll, you know, give it to me. I'll try to fix it and then we'll flip it and then maybe, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll negotiate. We'll talk about, you know, 50-50 deal type of thing. I've done that in the past. So the guy writes back and is like, listen, I want this out. Um, it, it was in my house. I'm selling that house. I need it gone by like next week. So I said, okay, listen, I'll give you 20 bucks. And that, 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 to me, like that, I, I, I get it. You as a seller, like it's like a slap in the face. But when you don't know what you, you have, like you, you, you just don't know. Mega touches are like, it's a computer. It's so like, to me, it's so delicate. Uh, you know, so far when it came to mega touches, I've had to either swap out motherboards or hard drives. I have yet to experience like if I have to change the touch screen or the driver or the little like you, there's a lot going on in this. People just see it as a game. I'm like, mm, mega touch is a computer. So I was saying to him, I said, listen, you said it doesn't power on. What does that mean? So he goes, it doesn't power on. Like he said, screen doesn't work. It doesn't power on. I plug it in. I flip the switch. Nothing happens. So I said, there's so many things that could be wrong. You could have a bad motherboard. You could have a bad power supply. I don't know, you know, but I'm not going to spend 450 bucks. Like it's, it's not going to happen. And then I left it as that. We didn't like, he didn't message me back. He didn't talk to me back, you know, whatever. So two days later, I randomly get a message back from the customer and he goes, listen, how much are you willing to give me to take this off my hands? And I said, he, he lives maybe about like, it was like, it was a 45 minute drive. And I said to him, I said, listen, my offer stands. I will give you 20 bucks. That is max. You know, I'm not doing more than that. Not to mention I can go 45 minutes out and pay like two tolls. So he goes, you know what, man? Pick it up. If you come within like the next hour or two, just go. Take it. I'll give me 20 bucks for it. And I went in the car and I, I hauled ass and I took it. I even said to him, I said, dude, I'm so serious. Like, I don't like, because he was like, I have my daughter's soccer game. I said, listen leave it outside and all I gotta do is I'm gonna just back the truck up and I'm gonna throw it in the truck I don't even need to power it on I don't need to see it turn on so he's like no I'll be around I'll still I'll try to power it on to you know show you what's up 
I go 45 minutes, I go, I take the drive, and I, it, it's in the driveway, and he actually has it powered on. And it's on, and I see the screen on. And the screen showed no key. And he was like, oh, you know, I just powered it on, and look now, like, it's, it turned, I said, dude, our deal is 20 bucks, like, you know, I should charge you now because I just paid, like, a good 30 bucks in tolls, like, I don't care what the screen says. He's like, all right, you know what, man, just, just take it, just take it. And I took it. I, I literally said to him, I was like, I didn't even care if it turned on. I'm just going to throw this in my truck and go. And uh, I bought it home. Once I bought it home, I powered it on. I saw the boots go up. I saw the, tur the, the PC turn on. But it had a no key issue. It had a key. And I'll open it up and I'll show you guys the, you know, the insides of it. And it had a key in it. And apparently the key was just bad. And, uh, you know, it's, I don't want to, I'll tell you. Uh, there's a guy on eBay, 50 bucks, he actually sells hard drive, it's a drive, keyless hard drive. And if you think about it, I basically spent 70 bucks and I have a mega touch upright <laughs> now. I don't want to laugh as if I'm making fun of somebody, it's just, you know, when you don't know, the, the, the main thing out of the story is like, I just, I don't like it when people try to sell something and it's broken and they think like, oh yeah, I'm going to go. I was like, I'm like the one, I'm like the rare person that will like actually, you know, entertain a broken mega touch. Again, mega touches are just so sensitive and if you don't know or if you don't even want to try to tinker with a mega touch, it's not going to be worth 450 bucks for somebody to try to fix. It's definitely not worth that now, um, meaning like a broken cabinet because the cabinet actually had a gash on the side. I'll show you it here. Uh, he didn't tell me that that there was a gash on the side of the cabinet, but it's still structurally found and it's, it's, it's good. Uh, but yeah, you're looking at a $70 mega touch upright. So like I said, I've had a handful of these. This one by far is the cleanest I've ever seen a mega, clean. When I say clean, there was no dust inside of it. Like where the computer is, there's no dust. Besides like your regular like mix, the in, this must have been inside this guy's garage or basement or whatever for years. And even like the fans inside were not dirty. I usually have to take like an air compressor and kind of, you know, blow off all the dust. This was clean. Not to mention, this has um, like a covering to the motherboard that I've never seen before. Like I've never seen this. It even has like the manual. Never seen that. I was I was blown away from it. I was like, wow, this is a very and again I didn't see this when I picked it up. I just I just threw it in the truck and I didn't care. Took it home and I was like, wow, this this is just clean. Like I've never seen it. Usually there's, there's a computer here. And that's all you see. I've never seen this like face covering. It's got the dollar bill acceptor. It's got this nice swinging stuff. It's the biggest thing that kind of shocked me was the manual. This originally was a Mega Touch Force 2008. Um, it's even got like the stickers. Like, and Mega Touch, you could either get these as the uprights, like you got 2005 Force. I have the 2008 manual. I could sell these off alone. This even has, um, if you had like the countertop one, you could put the. It, it's got, I've never seen that. I've never seen a manual in person. It's even got like the instruction cards to it. Again, I didn't know that this was part of it, and yes, you're looking at a $70 marketplace score here. So now, all honesty, the only negative thing to it is the gash here. I mean, it, it's not, it's structurally sound. I don't know how you could get a gash like this, um, but basically I put my, uh, my wood batten, like I built my arcades with, and I just stapled it. This way it's just like, it won't go anywhere. Uh, like it won't flex. That's honestly the only like sad thing to it that's that's the only thing but it's got i i had to put a new key to the keys he didn't have the keys to him he actually like drilled them out um but i had you know the the lock mechanism there and again it's just i've never seen a the inside of it is just immaculate i, I couldn't believe it and like i said the motherboard with that covering never seen that for it never so I don't have these machines on right now, I don't have this one on, but I do still have my Mega Touch RX. I will never let this go. This is like the last cabinet design that Mega Touch made. This is also running the last hard drive, which is 2014. And it's got a big screen. This is a 22 inch screen on this. So 
You might be saying like, Vic, why do you have two mega touches? I made a video on this. This is actually the captain's auction score. Uh, again, broken. It was a dead mega touch and I brought it back to life. Awesome, very happy with it. But I do have, I'll go back to it. Um, let, let me go back to it. But yes, I do have the mega touch RX still here. The big thing I'm gonna get out of this real quick is that this has, and like I said in my video, my game is photo hunt. This has like a newer version of photo hunt. I don't like the photo hunt on this version, but that one's got the right one. <laughs> so uh, just real quick so people don't get confused. I'm not planning to keep this. I have this up for sale. Uh, it's just, it's been about a week or two and it didn't move. And not to mention I'm cutting wood. I don't want to get this dusty. So I literally, I bought it downstairs. Uh, and I said, you know what? Let me keep it from the dust. It's a computer in it. I have it down here. I'm not planning to keep this because I do have my RX, but I'm not going to let this go for cheap. Some might be like, I'll give you 200 bucks for it. Like, no, I would rather keep it. I have a price on Marketplace. It works. I know what I have. <laughs> but this right here, so this is running the Fusion uh, motherboard. Again, if you don't know Mega Touch, there's certain motherboards and there's certain drives that the motherboard could read and then the RAM and all that. So, all in all, I cannot put the 2014 hard drive. I can't put that hard drive that's in the RX. It, it won't work on this because it's a different motherboard and it, it just doesn't work. So, the last version that you could get for this motherboard for Fusion is 2011. So, this right here is three years older than the RX hard drive, but the big thing is that this has my photo hunt. This is the photo hunt I grew up with. And because like I said in my video when I did the RX, when you mess up, you get the cartoon noises. So again, there's a guy on eBay and somebody messaged me later on and was like, you don't have to pay that guy on eBay because the image of the software is online. I'm not doing, I got no time. Not to mention the hard drive connector on this. Um, it needed a special converter. He did sell me, so this guy on eBay sold me a, um, it's an SSD. It still takes time to boot, not like the RX. Still takes time to boot, but the original hard drive, I, I have it inside. Uh, the original hard drive is like this 42 pin connector with a Molex power connector. So again, like, if you don't know what's going on, you're gonna have a bad time, like you're not gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna have a high score right now. <laughs> so I messaged a guy on eBay and I told him, I said, listen, I, I sent him pictures. I was like, the marquee says Fusion Force 2008. Um, that's what it is, I believe. But the, the motherboard is the Force motherboard. It's either Fusion or Force. Uh, so he messaged me back, he goes, listen, the, the max you could do is the 2011. So I messaged him, I said, listen, I'm looking for the photo hunt that had the cartoon noises and all that when you mess up. And the guy messaged back and goes, the 2008 Fusion Drive has that, not the 2011. And obviously 2008, 2011, there's more games and all that. So I said, you know what? I'm planning to sell this anyway. Just give me the 2011 version. And you know, 50 bucks later, I get in the mail a drive, also awesome dude. Um, this only had like one RAM stick. It had slots for two, but it only had one. And he actually told me, he goes, listen, you actually only have one RAM slot. I'm gonna give you another RAM stick because the, the hard drive won't boot without this dual memory. I guess it needs more memory. And it's so crazy because it's, it's a RAM stick, like what you get in the computers, but it said like, I think it's like a 150 meg RAM stick. Like that's just how, advanced technology is you're doing like 32 gigs of ram on current gen pcs and this has like combined 200 megs mb ram it, it's cool but i now again because i know i'm not gonna say i'm an expert at mega touches but i know what to start with i test the power supply but then again the computer booted the screen booted i saw everything turning but there was no key the screen on the, the screen said no key and if you know mega touches it's an actual key. It's a physical key that's on these. Oh, I have the motherboard closed. Ah, oh, I could just show you this though. Um, let me power off real quick. Hold on. So Mega Touches have a key, and what's crazy is that that's the key. It's not the actual key, but it's very. It's it's this. It, but it's connected to the motherboard. 
This is the key right here. This right here is like a watch battery connected to this this black thing. It's not even connected. It's, it's a watch. It's like a, it's like two batteries in one. This is the key. So you could have your Mega Touch computer and all that, but if you don't have the key, just like what this originally had, there was no key. It wouldn't boot. You couldn't play it. And it's just amazing, like technology. Like this is the key. It's a watch battery. A little bit thicker than a watch battery, but. You need this. This is a mega touch key. I hope you could see it in the camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm behind the camera now. That's the key. That is it. So, years ago, you know, I guess mega touch would sell the drives or you could update the drives, but they would have to send you the key. And if you don't have the key, then the game won't work. And luckily this guy on eBay, he sells keyless drive the drive is, is, is keyless so luckily i don't need keys i it's done and i have it on my ad i'm like this is keyless like virtually nothing could go wrong with it uh you know unless the motherboard dies but it's a keyless mega touch and there you go that's that's it that is the story to the mega touch upright it's got all the cereals the back here like all the Everything here, is, it's called the Fusion Upright with Bill. That is the official name to that. And it fits perfectly here. I really have it right next to my House of Rock. And boom, there you go, it's Mega Touch. And again, I'm not keeping this cabinet. That is not my intention. It's just here until somebody buys it. But if I have to keep it, I'll keep it. <laughs> let's go upstairs, let's talk about Micro Center. Now we can talk about the Micro Center cabinet that I have here. Kind of an interesting, unique story with this one. Why do I have it? I, you know, I'll, I'll give you the whole story, but Micro Center, I believe, this is, I have no sources, this is what I believe. I believe Micro Center is done with this retro arcade gaming thing that they started. Um, they probably thought it had big ideas and, you know, they thought it was gonna take off, but what i see it at now it, it they're definitely like throwing in the towel they're they're done with this if you go down if you do have a micro center by you they they i believe it was like about a year or two i made a video on it um about a year or two like you know they started advertising i went to micro center for a computer and i was like uh, the, right at the front like smack in the front there was an arcade cabinet they had the 32 inch cabinet which is here and they had the 22 inch cabinet um I was like, whoa, like there's arcade stuff in Micro Center and they were pumping, like they were really into it. They had everything, they had like flight sticks, trackballs, you could change the 32 inch deck with the trackball. They had a lot of stuff related to it, but now I, they're definitely done. This is something that is done. Let me tell you why I have this. Now, if you go back in my videos, I've, I've done a, sev a couple of these, not this 32 inch version, I've done the 27 inch, the centipede Atari artwork version, which is great. Um, which is why I actually have this. I had the customer that I sold the centipede to. He's like, hey Vic, my cousin wants the same exact machine. What can we do? And I said, okay, cool. I go on, my, I micro, I go on micro center and they had two by me. I, I, I'm lucky to have five micro centers in my area. Out of the five, two of them have arcade cabinets. Two of them had the 27 inch version. The other ones didn't have any. I think they had the bar top. They didn't have like the 32 inch. So I told the customer, I said, hey, listen, I don't take the deposits yet. Let me actually, you know, let me get my hands on the cabinet first and we'll go. Um, so I go to Micro Center. Again, I do have a customer that wants a 27 inch. I already have a customer for it. I went to the car, I got in the car, went into Micro Center, and I see that they have two of the 27 inch cabinets in stock. It's on their website. It's gonna be a long story, not too long, but I'll try to keep it short. I go there and I go to the manager, I actually have to go to, like, to a worker and I gotta say like, listen, I want this cabinet. They have to go to like the warehouse, which is like underground and somebody's gotta bring it up, but it's not on the, it's not on the, on the, on the floor. So I told the guy, I said, listen, I want this and the guy pages over the radio and I wait like 15 minutes. Manager walks up to me and goes, hey, you're the guy that's looking for the arcade thing. And I was like, yeah. He goes, listen, I have a little bit of a situation. One box is open and it's missing a hardware. I was like, crap. Uh, what do you mean by hardware? He's like, I think it, it, it just says no hardware. So I'm assuming that it's the stuff to put it together. So I was like, oh, the cam locks. I've done so many GRS cabinets. I have like thousands of cam locks because they throw in extra ones. I was like, all right, no worries. 
I'll still take it. As long as it's not beat up, I'll still take it. Like 10 minutes go by and all of a sudden I see this guy with like the, the pallet jack wheeling a cabinet. I could clearly see this cabinet. Um, one was a closed box, so the closed box was underneath it and then on top of it was like eight pieces. Literally the, the side walls scattered. Like no box, which is scattered. And I was like, oh shit. Uh, as it's getting closer, I was like, okay, I might be able to work with it, but I noticed something. I was like, you got, this is the wrong cabinet. Uh, first thing that, that threw me off, off the bat, was this piece here, the side panel. If you don't know these cabinets, just like Game of Solutions cabinets, they are two pieces for the side panel. You can even see, like, I, I hide it with the single hour, but these are two side panels. The big thing that threw it off was this, this bottom piece. I was like, that's not the 27 inch model i need the 27 inch so they're going back and forth on the radio and the guy's like no i told you that i don't have the 27 inch and in stuff in, in the shop i have this one and they're going back and forth and i said i was like my customer wants a 27 inch like i can't do anything with this and i then messaged the customer and i was like hey i have the 30 they got the 32 uh, keep in mind though with this customer i'm it's it's a dirt cheap sale it's, it's, a, it's a dirt cheap sale. So you might be saying, Vic, why don't you cut your cabinet? He doesn't want to pay for my cabinet. He wants dirt cheap. So that's why I went with this. And he already had a 27 centipede and his cousin liked it. And that's why we're here now. So I'm looking at the floor. I'm like, dude, I, my customer now is not texting me. Like, I guess he's working, which is fine. Or I was like, so I'm there, I'm pacing back and forth like for 10 minutes. And the manager's like, you know, what are we going to do? Do you want, it's like we're in the middle of the store. Like the pallet jack is just there but just a bunch of pieces. So I was like, I, I was like, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. So the customer didn't message me. He literally didn't message me until like eight hours later. So I'm there in the store and I was like, I was like, dude, this isn't, I don't want this. I need the 27 inch. He's like, I don't even have, he's like, I don't have it. The other micro center, which is in Brooklyn, he even called and he actually did it in front of me. Cause I was like, oh, Brooklyn has it. He's like, I'll call, just make sure you don't waste your time. Calls up and Brooklyn's like, we don't have it. Like, it's not here, it's, it's not there. So I was like, I don't understand, it says that it's in stock. He goes, Vic, the, the, the way like their inventory system is for these cabinets is very weird. I even said to him, I was like, you have, a you have two 27 inch cabinets, it's on your website. He goes, no, the inventory is messed up. Whoever did the inventory is wrong, they counted one box, because it's a two box thing. Even the 27 inch is a two box thing. They counted that as two, in stock where it's actually one in stock and so on. So I'm there and I'm like, I literally show no interest in this. Aside from also, they didn't have the Atari artwork. They had this, this, or like that really weird comic book one. So I'm like, you guys don't even have the Atari stuff. I was like, I was like, listen, I don't, I don't want it. And I walked away. I'm going to, to the, to the back. Like I'm, I'm literally exiting the store and the manager yells out, he goes, listen, how much will you give us to take this? I was like, what? He goes, how much? Name your price, how much? And I said, when you say take this, do you mean like everything? He goes, everything. And they had the box with the buttons, the joysticks, the raspberry pie. I was like, you want me to take this? I'll give you 50 bucks. I just threw a number out. I should have said less. Without hesitation, done, go. Like the guy was like, go, let's go to the cashier and ring it up. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> he took it for 50 bucks. In my mind, I'm like, you know what? Even if I don't use the cabinet, the raspberry pie alone, especially now in this day and age, the pies are crazy. 50 bucks, what you see here is 50 bucks, minus the TV. They, they didn't have like the 32 inch TV. So, the TV cost me a hundred bucks. You're looking at right now, 150 bucks. That's what I spent on this. Am I gonna flip it? Yes, but I'll be honest, it's gonna go for it even dirtier than dirt cheap. I mean, dirt. Uh, I'll be honest, I, 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 sadly, right, I bought this home and I have cam locks from GRS. And if you don't know, GRS makes this cabinet. This is a GRS cabinet. It's just like branded for Micro Center. GRS makes this. And I thought the GRS cam lock system was the same. It is not. I put the GRS cam locks in. They're actually too long. 
for this. Uh, it actually would stick out. And going back and forth on like Amazon, I had to buy like, uh, it was only 20 bucks on catalog, so it's not that big a deal. I'll be honest, so I am not a fan of the construction of this. I'm gonna blame the cam locks um, because the actual cam lock, some of them, some of them are falling out. Uh, this right now is the day after Halloween. If you go on my Instagram, I actually put this cabinet, I wheeled it outside for the trick or treaters, and I had a couple of kids playing it. You know, I said, listen, it's it's something where like if I if I could flip it, great. If not, I'll keep it here. So like you know. I don't know what my plan is right now with this because the customer that I had doesn't want this. He wanted the centipede and number two, he can't fit the 32 inch. Uh, and I told him, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna sell it to you for dirt cheap and he doesn't want it. Uh, so it's now gonna sit in the garage. In all honesty, uh, I don't blame Micro Center. <laughs> the guy definitely wanted, like when he looked at me, he was like, how much are you willing to give me? I just blurred out, I should have said 10. I, I, I could have probably walked away with 10 bucks. Um, but it's all right. I'll be honest. The buttons, the joystick, the Raspberry Pi, the encoder alone—you already know it's it's more than fifty bucks. So I didn't take a loss on this. Um, but yeah, Micro Center definitely is done with their arcade thing. I even took like a handful of other buttons. I was like, hey, I need like the my customer wants red and white and blue. He's like, take it. So I have like a bunch of buttons too there. So you know, think of it. You might be saying like, Vic, this is dumb. Uh, this is a perfect example of why I don't have stock. This is where people are like, hey, do you have one right now? I'll buy it right now. Like, no, I make these custom made to order. I, I don't, this is the exact reason why. Now it's gonna sit in the corner and it will get dusty, but I'm pretty sure I'm convinced it'll sell. But going back to Micro Center again, no hard evidence, but to my eyes, they're getting rid of this. So what can you get out of this? Go to your Micro Center, see if they have these cabinets, you might get an open box like me and you might get the manager that says, listen, get this out of here. Cause I was talking to the warehouse worker. He's like, dude, you have no idea. This has been sitting on the floor for like months. And like, we're surprised it's going out the door right now. I was like, don't, was like just help me load it into the truck. And there you go. I mean, the, uh, whatever, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the artwork is artwork. Again, granted they can't, you know, licensing and all that. Artwork is artwork. It's cool, like the whole Space Invaders theme. Um, it's just that line. Look at that line. You can see that line. You can't do anything about it. But again, it's it's not awful. Uh, you know, it's just my only issue is the cam locks. I, if they had the hardware, this would would. If they had the hardware, this would sell what I would normally sell the Game of Sushi's cabinets for. But right now, I have this at a steep discount because, again, the the. Look, it doesn't, it's not like unsafe. It's not gonna collapse. It's just honestly, I would probably have to deliver this to somebody's house. This cabinet is built, again, I'm, I'm blaming it for the cam locks. It shouldn't move. Uh, if, if I was gonna basically bring this to a customer's house, I would bring it. Definitely, I know for a fact, some of the actual locks, the cam locks would fall out. I would just tighten it. Once it's all tight and it's not gonna move, this is a great cabinet. It is a Game of Solutions cabinet, but unless, uh, you know, I deliver it, it's just, you can see, I don't know if you see it there, but like this is a big gap and it's not because of the cam lock on this. It's just, this is just how it is. But 15,000 games running a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, it is what it is. Uh, their artwork vinyl is interesting. Um, it's thick. It's awful on the bezel, there's, bu there's bubbles no matter what I did. But all in all, it's a solid cabinet. Uh, you know, I don't know what I wanna do with it yet. I do have it for cheap on Marketplace, but worst case scenario, I'll, I'll donate it. I'll probably donate it to like either a local school. Um, yeah, but my only suggestion out of this video is go to Micro Center, if you have one by you, and uh, you could probably make amazing deals with their arcade stuff. They have flight sticks, they got trackballs. I should have taken the trackball, but again, 50 bucks. <laughs> so there you guys have it. You got the Facebook Marketplace score at 20 bucks and you got the Micro Center score at 50 bucks. Now we just gotta wait for a customer to come and get it. <laughs> there you guys have it. We'll see you guys on the next one. We're gonna be talking about Hyper Vertical and stay tuned for this. We got another Ultimate Arcade in the works. 
This is supposed to be a five to 10 minute video and I'm pretty sure I'm at like 30, so I talk a lot. Thank you guys again for 5K subscribers. Stay tuned for more videos. Game on, my guys, game on.